In this video I want to take a look at the layer waveform display. This area here displays the waveform of the currently selected layer on the currently selected pad. What we're looking at here is a loop that's been sliced. On each pad we can see the start and end point of each slice. The waveform display has some useful automatic zoom modes. Over here are four small icons. By default, no automatic zooming is selected. That means that if I use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in on this particular slice, that zoom setting is only remembered for that particular layer of that particular pad. If I switch to another pad, you'll see that it's fully zoomed out. If I switch to this mode here, snap to start and end markers, you'll see that the display automatically zooms out to show me the full slice with the start and end markers to the left and right of the window. And when I switch pads, they're all the same. The next mode along is the snap to start marker, which will center the start marker in the display window. This is really useful if you want to go through a sliced loop and fine tune the start marker. Then the snap to end marker, which as you might expect, focuses on the end marker of each slice. It's worth mentioning these two other buttons here, the A and F buttons. These allow you to superimpose a graphical representation of the amp envelope and free envelope over the waveform itself. The A is the amp envelope, and I can use the various handles here to actually change the amplitude envelope. In fact, why don't we zoom to uh, start and end markers here. And then F is the free envelope. If you have them both enabled at the same time, the amp envelope goes in the upper half of the window and the free envelope goes in the lower half like so. And that is the various zoom modes of the layer waveform display window in Geist 2.